Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the International Mathematical Olympiad 1962 problem number 4, which was proposed by Romania. We wish to solve the following trigonometric equation, cosine squared of t plus cosine squared of 2t plus cosine squared of 3 times t equals 1. This is a rather standard trigonometric uh, uh, equation, here are my hints. We'll make use of the following identities. First one is well known. Cosine of 2 times alpha equals 2 times cosine squared of alpha minus 1. And the second one is trickier. It's maybe not so well known, but it turns out that 4 times cosine of alpha, cosine of beta, cosine of gamma equals cosine of alpha plus beta plus gamma plus cosine of minus alpha plus beta plus gamma plus cosine of alpha minus beta plus gamma plus cosine of alpha plus beta minus gamma. And finally, a well-known fact that cosine of alpha is zero if and only if its argument is pi over two plus some multiple of pi. So give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Uh, all right, so uh, let's start with uh, the following identity. We know we know that cosine of two times alpha is two times cosine squared of alpha minus one. And now I will try to eliminate squares from my equation by using this identity. So let's take our equation. And now I will do the following. I will take this equation equals one. And first I will multiply everything by two. I will multiply everything by two. Right. And now uh, this two times cosine squared of t and so on, it can be replaced the first expression can be replaced by cosine of 2t plus 1. This part can be replaced by cosine of 4t plus 1. And the last part can be replaced by cosine of 6 times t plus 1, which equals 2. And now I will do the following. I will, let's take a look, 1 plus 1 cancel with this number 2. And moreover, this number 1 can be written as cosine of 0. And I have the following equation right now. Cosine of 0, cosine of 2 times t, cosine of 4 times t, cosine of 6 times t equals 0. And now, notice that uh, here we have sum of 4 cosines. And I will try to use the second identity, which I hinted at in the beginning of my video. And to do that, I will, let's notice the following. This first term, cosine of zero, is exactly the same as cosine of minus 3t plus 2t plus t. This part is the same as cosine of cosine of 3 times t plus 2t or minus 2 times t rather plus t. The next part is cosine of 3 times t plus 2t minus t. And the last part is cosine of 3 times t, 2t and t finally. All right, and this is zero, and we can exactly use the identity which I hinted at, because we are in the situation minus alpha plus beta plus gamma. Here we have alpha minus beta plus gamma, alpha plus beta minus gamma, alpha plus beta plus gamma. The entire left-hand side can be replaced by four times cosine of t cosine of 2 times t cosine of 3 times t. By the way, you should try to prove the uh, identity which I hinted at. 
it's very easy once you know the formula for the cosine of alpha plus beta. All right, and now product of three numbers equals zero, even only if one of these numbers is zero. So we have three families of solutions. Either cosine is zero, so and that happens when t equals pi over two plus some multiple of pi, or uh, 2t is uh, cosine of 2 times t is 0, which happens when t is pi over 4 plus l pi over 2, or their last cosine is 0, so 3t equals pi over 2 plus m pi after division by 3, pi over 6 plus m pi over 3, where k L, M, R, any integers whatsoever. And that is our family of solutions. And that closes our problem. We are done. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.